Hey guys, I'm back with another tour video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this apartment building, which is actually the first build that I've ever done a tour on that isn't a full-on house. I figured that since I fully decorated this build, I might as well go ahead and do a tour. I did end up building this for a tutorial just like all the other tours, so if you want to know how to build this, be sure to check out the description. I'll have a link to part 1 of the tutorial. I'm going to be starting here more towards the front side of the apartment. So the first floor is pretty much just like a lobby area with a laundry mat and a couple bathrooms. The second floor is the first actual apartment which has two bedrooms and one bathroom. Then the third floor is pretty much the same exact layout with two bedrooms and one bathroom. There's just some slight changes. And then the third floor is a one bedroom, one bathroom. I really like how this one turned out and I'm glad I fully decorated it because I can now do a tour for you guys. I normally don't do tours of builds that aren't fully finished. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and fully finish this one so that we could have a nice little tour. So here's the entrance. So you can see I just entered more of like the side. There's also one that's directly towards the front. So this is just like a little hallway entrance area. You walk through. One thing I do want to mention, this is where the elevators would be. I normally don't mess around with redstone, so they're not going to work. If you are maybe building this in survival and can't just fly straight up, I would recommend just having some staircases here. I've done probably like over a hundred staircases throughout all my builds so we'd be able to look back and figure out the type of staircase to do here but it's just left as it is so you could just fly straight up so here's the first floor as i mentioned we got a little lobby area so we got some couches here just like a little waiting spot and then over here is a very simple design with some washer and dryers so it's like a little laundry mat section since the apartments don't have their own laundry room. So they have to go down here to do their laundry. And then we have a bathroom right here. So these bathrooms are going to be more for a guest. So just a toilet and a sink. Bush in the corner. And then we have another one right along over here. So that's actually everything for the first floor. It's pretty simple here. I'll head on up to the second floor which is the first apartment. So we walk on through. We're greeted with the living room space. And then I really like the detail I added here in the ceiling. Normally, I would think this is maybe a little bit overdone, just like too much. But in this case, I really like it. I think it looks good. Over on this side, we have a little cutout in the wall. And then we'll take a look at the kitchen slash dining room. So we got the dining room table, which fit perfectly right down the center of this room. And then over here we have the fridge, we have some corner sinks, little cutting board, the ovens over here, oven hood. And then I'll carry on, wrap around, we got some more cutouts in the wall over here. And then another one there. So that door is a bedroom. You know what, I'll jump right on into that one first. So we got a desk over here at the left. We got the corner bed, or like a bed more like pushed up into the corner. And then just some paintings on that wall, bush in the corner, some carpet. This room is uh, pretty simple, nothing crazy going on in here. I like the detail on the ceiling here as well. Got some like beams, but they kind of have a little arch to them. So that's this room. We'll head on through. Go to this side. This is the other bedroom. So bigger bed right down the center of the room. Nightstands on each side, cutouts in the wall over there, storage area there, and then some more nice detail in the ceiling. So that's this room. This is like the master bedroom pretty much. And then it's got the bathroom right over here. So to the left, we got a sink with plenty of counter space. We got the toilet, the bathtub slash shower over here with a little table next to it. So that's it for this bathroom. And now that's actually everything for this apartment. So yeah, I really like how these all turned out. So that's the first one. We'll head on up to the third floor. So this one has the similar layout. It's just slightly different. So we got the couch here. And then a little bit of extra space here. We really didn't need anything because there is just a doorway that we're walking straight to. So I didn't want to overcrowd the area. We got some cutouts in the wall here. 
And then the wood and the tile for the kitchen kind of has a little curve to it. So this is the dining room section, a little bit of a smaller table, cutouts in the wall, hanging down light right above the table. Over here is the kitchen. So we got the fridge right there. We got the sinks, cutting board, and then the island right down the middle with the ovens. I really like how this one turned out. Very simple layout. And then I'll head on into this room. So I made this one slightly smaller than the first floor. I just brought it in by one block. So we have the desk over here, storage area, nice stand next to the small bed. So this is more of a kid's bedroom. So I decided to make it a little bit smaller. And then over on this side is the master bedroom, which because I ended up making that room smaller, I was able to make this one one block bigger. So we have the bed right down the middle with some nightstands and then just a simple TV design over there. And then once again, at the same spot as the first apartment is the bathroom. Plenty of counter space here with some double sinks. We got the toilet and then just a bathtub over here. We'll head on out to the fourth floor, which is a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. So we have the living room once again. So a couch on this side, another couch with some tables right there. Hallway going into like towards the kitchen and bathroom or my bad, the uh, bedroom and bathroom. And then over here is where the kitchen slash dining room is. So because this apartment is smaller with just one bedroom, I figured it would be fine to have a smaller table here for the dining room area. And then over here, a nice little L-shape kitchen design, just like the first apartment. And then it's got a island right down the middle. So yeah, that's that. And I think that's everything for like the main part. So we'll carry on. We'll go towards the left. This is the bedroom. Very nice size to it. So we got the TV. Or my bad. Uh, that's the TV. Uh, we got the, uh, the bed right down the middle. Storage over there. Cutouts in the wall. The reason I said TV is because I did something a little bit different here. Something I don't think I've ever done before. And that is actually just cutting out a hole directly into the wall to put a TV. Normally I would have it like out one block like I did for the previous apartment down below. But I figured why not just cut it into the wall. So I think that looked cool. So that's it for this bedroom. We'll head on to the final room over here. And this is the bathroom. So we got the shower slash bathtub right here. And then the toilet right down the middle and the sink. So I think this is like the perfect sized bathroom right here. Not too big, not too small. It fit everything perfectly just as I wanted it to. So that is actually everything for this tour. So it's probably a bit of a shorter one. I'll head straight back down. We'll take a look at the outside one more time. Do a little flyby. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that here for this tour. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more. And once again, as I mentioned before, if you want to know how to actually build this, I'll be sure to have a link to the tutorial for part one of it down below in the description.